Hello students, in this lab, using Archimedes principle, we will calculate the relative density of aluminum, alcohol and wood. So those are the three results. And for this we'll be using the Archimedes principle. According to this principle, when you have any solid immersed in a liquid, the liquid is going to exert an upward force on the solid. This is called the buoyant force. This is what we'll be using to calculate the relative density or specific gravity. Those two words mean the same. Relative density or specific gravity of all three of these. So I have uh, taken an actual video of a student doing this in the lab. So we'll be using that. And if some of those readings cannot be actually taken from the video, it will show up as text and you can use those numbers. But basically, first you got to have a triple scale a balance, which you have to balance out with no objects on it. So it must show zero with nothing on it, which is what is being shown there. Next, you take the aluminum cylinder and... Well, first of all, the scale is supported on a platform as shown and the aluminum cylinder is suspended by means of a string and its mass is determined in air. The mass of the aluminum cylinder in air uh, after the balancing is done comes out to be, you can see the 70 on the scale at the, at the back. You see the 70 there and then you see zero on the scale in the middle and 0.2 on the scale up in front. So that means the mass is 70.2 grams. Now the aluminum cylinder is completely immersed in water, taking care that it's not touching anywhere, not at the bottom, not at the sides. It's completely immersed in water. So it's definitely going to weigh a little less. Its mass is going to be a little less. So let's find that out. So here it is. Uh, the student is trying to find its mass while it's in air and it's it's 46.1. 46.1 gram. We got it. So that's the mass in water. 46.1. Next, we got to find its mass in alcohol. So here is the container with alcohol in it. The same aluminum cylinder is going to be immersed in it and we will find the mass. So that is now the cylinder in alcohol and it's like, oh, I can't see the scale at the back. But it's going to be more than in water because Alcohol doesn't push up as much as water since the density of alcohol is less. That's why its relative density is going to be less than 1. Okay, So I'll put up that number in text. Next we got to find the specific gravity or relative density of wood. So that piece of wood is tied by means of a string and its mass is determined in air. And what do we have for that? Scale at the back is at zero, the middle one is also at zero, so that's 8.2 grams. Yes, 8.2 gram in air. We got that. 8.2 gram in air. Next, the wooden cylinder is in air, but the sinker is in water. So we should make sure that the sinker is not touching the base. It's only the wooden cylinder in air, but the sinker. It's called the sinker because it's going to make it sink down. So that's how much. It's 126.2. 126.2 grams. Wooden cylinder in air, sinker in water. Finally, we got to have both of them underwater, as you can see now. Both of them are underwater. And we got to find its mass. Okay, so that's the final measurement we're going to have. And hopefully we can see what it is. 
it's going to be less than before because now the wooden cylinder is also in air. We couldn't see that there, so maybe on this. Let me pass that, so it's 110 and then it's 5.4. So 115.4 grams, 115.4 grams, right? So those are the masses that we need in order to calculate the specific gravity of all of these three. What are these? First, we need the specific gravity of aluminum, then the specific gravity of alcohol, and then that of wood. I will show you the lab document and explain how the calculations are done. Thank you. Lab document on Archimedes principle. Uh, you can see the formula, formula given here. So the first one is for the specific gravity of aluminum. Look at the second part. M by M minus M1. Here, M is the mass of aluminum in air. And M1 is its apparent mass in water. Apparent means what it appears to be, okay? So that's the two there. And then to find the specific gravity of alcohol, specific gravity of the liquid, which is alcohol, it's M minus M2 divided by M minus M1. Again, M1 is the mass in water, M2 is the mass of the aluminum cylinder in alcohol. And M, of course, is the mass in air. So that's how you find the specific gravity of alcohol. It's all given here. Now, to find the specific gravity of a solid less dense than water, which is wood, so to find the specific gravity of wood, we use this formula. So in this case, M is the mass of the wooden cylinder in air. M is the mass of the wooden cylinder in air. And M1 is the mass of the solid and the sinker with wood in air and the sinker alone immersed. That's M1. M2 is the mass when both the solid and the sinker are immersed. So using that, you can find the specific gravity of wood. Now, the hydrometer is an instrument designed to indicate the specific gravity of a liquid by the depth to which it sinks in the liquid. I've not shown that. And uh, I'm going to show you that there is a part where you enter that specific gravity of alcohol by using include the word hydrometer and put the value as 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Now the theoretical specific gravities of aluminum and uh, alcohol, ethyl alcohol, which is the one we used is given here. That's for calculating the percentage error. Now the data table, uh, you know, the mass of metal cylinder in air, that's talking about aluminum, that's M, in water is M1, this is M2. And then when you come to this, again, you're using the same symbols. So this is M, M1, M2. So you calculate three specific gravities, one of aluminum, the other of alcohol, and the third of wood. This is the specific gravity that you directly obtain using the hydrometer that I have given as 0 0.8. Then you answer the questions and, you know, do not forget to include a conclusion. And that is the lab on Archimedes principle. I hope you've understood. Thank you.